Hello goddess and welcome to this week's Super Sign Sunday and as I was setting up the download started <laughs> and it is this this knowing that it is that time of letting go it is the time of allowing for this separation to actually happen this time to stop working so hard to hold so tightly to him in this physical world. That trying to control what he's doing. But you see, goddess, that is not where your power can be found because it's not where your power is. It's about focusing on you and your healing. And again, to allow for this time of separation, because during this time, you're really truly focusing on you. Oh, wow. And it's taking that time to journal, to meditate, to put things into practice. This version of yourself that you're stepping into, that you're expanding into, what are her habits? What is her life like? And then you've got to step into that. And be aware of if and when you fall off of those supporting activities <laughs> that you're even more aware that you do not beat yourself up for falling off because this world this journey this it is challenging it is very 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 challenging to be in and of this world especially right now and then your twin flame too and that definitely means you're also a highly sensitive empath and and it's just one thing after another doesn't it feel like it i mean it seems so but that's because you're strong enough for it goddess, goddess. you're strong enough You're strong enough to let go. To stop sending messages that get no reply. To stop sending energy that gets no return. Yes, yes, of course, send love. However, in that moment, in order to do so, you must be embodying love. So technically you're doing what you're here to do and you're being in the state of being you're here to be in. So it's a win, win, win when you do that. I'm talking about the time, the attention, the words in return. time to really truly get excited about your life goddess and even when you're a little tired like admittedly I am today I've been running around this morning with Saturday morning because this video gets published Saturday evening and then I disconnect on Sunday and I'm definitely disconnecting tomorrow I do have the divine masculine message to get ready for Monday however it's all right. I'm just not available to the world tomorrow. But today, I am available to the entire universe because we are all so very, very curious to know. To know, first of all, if the DM is going to have anything to say this time. 
because that's been very fun having that. but to show where perhaps we need to spend extra attention on. Have a little bit more awareness regarding that facet of this journey. That said, I just dove right in. My name is Rochelle Richard, and I am the, well, as I say, founder, CEO, and self-love empowerment coach here at Empowerment Experiences, where we are looking for and finding our power in every moment all along that, which is our self-love empowerment journeys that for the majority of us are also healing Twin Flames journeys, which definitely stirs up a bit of anger and, and that is why this is the answer to that question to be really aware of your anger because what if and ask yourself this ask ask your anger this what is it that you're so sad about What hurt you so much? That you want to hurt someone else with your words in return. That is the poison of anger. And I know in this twin flame journey, especially you are going to have moments, many, many moments, where your counterpart has triggered a wound within you that oh, is like the angry guy from Inside Out. I love that movie. My love bug calls the movie Joy. That's what we call it around here. You want to watch Joy? We don't ask, do you want to watch Anger? Even though. It's funny, but that that's where it is because anger, anger most often, I mean like, except for when you are in a self-control space and allowing yourself to process your anger through healthy outlets, anger itself is not a good thing. It poisons. It damages and you can't take it back it is a loss of control right and this is why right now being aware of your anger will empower you to find healthy ways of expressing that anger so that it does not get the best of you. It does not get released in a moment of regret, of lack of control, lack of self-control. You are the catalyst. So that's Thank you, universe, for that, the answer to that, that question. You know, anger awareness. <laughs> Start to uh, remind yourself of that, goddess. Huh, I just caught 927, and for those who know Oh my goodness. Anger awareness. <laughs> Need I say any more to that right there? Oh, like, wow. Wow. And allowing yourself to imagine something better, 
something that feels better, right? Knowing that as you release this anger in a healthy way, that is removing things that would taint or harm your vision, your twin flame union. So as you are being aware of this anger and releasing it responsibly, you're also taking charge of your focus, taking responsibility of your focus. And it is so important that you come to see that what you focus on, what you give your attention to, is exactly what grows. And therefore, the more you give your attention to what you desire, the more it expands and becomes your reality. The more you line up with that experience. You've got to be practicing your visualizations. You've got to be allowing yourself to envision the life that you desire without telling yourself that you can't have it. That's going to be connected um, to the anger, to the grief, because before too long you get frustrated and then flustered and then you get angry that you feel like you can't have what you desire. And this includes your counterpart when he's not giving you what you want. Oh my God, isn't this so infuriating? <laughs> uh, and it's so exhausting, which is again why, and I'll tell you sister, the, one of the most natural, immediate, easy ways to release this, this pain is to breathe. To really start to pay attention to your breath. Are you taking deep, healing, expanding breaths? Or are you holding tension in your body? Especially when you feel angry. And then when you feel as though you can't have what you desire, breathe through that too. Is it because, yes, you feel like you have to play it small, which means most likely you're gonna feel yourself closing off. And all of that closed off energy, it blocks your counterpart from coming through. Yes, indeed you do. It's all energy and the more I shift my shit, the more it's so easy to see it. We are the only ones who get in our own way. And that means that we have to surrender to the path that is going to take us to what we desire and that path i have the coolest TikTok that's in my drafts that's coming that i was inspired yesterday and the twin flame journey is paved with shattered pieces of this whole shattered reality this whole shattered idea of love of this of this world of this universe of who you thought you were of just everything Shattered pieces, scattered, scattered all over this twin flame journey. And you 
get to piece together, get to put together, get to create a whole new earth, a new vision. you've got to align with it and that means to pay attention to the things that are weighing you down and keeping you out of alignment out of that frequency of what you desire And have patience, patience with yourself, patience with your journey, patience with your counterpart. The only aspect of ourselves that's ever in a hurry is our ego. And right now, we can all look at where we are and we can, I'm sure, agree that the ego has been Well, getting a little carried away. Telling you that you need to hurry, you need to worry, you need to stress, you need to doubt, you need to just plain Plain old freak out. <laughs> so it is, it's practicing that patience, which you practice patience the best way through practicing presence, through coming into this present moment, detaching from the past and the future, recognizing that all there ever is, is this moment. The future is unwritten. We are the ones writing it, but we must anchor into our power in the here and now. Anger takes us out of our here and now. We're in our head. We're holding a grudge. We're, we're um, you know, listening to a fear. So we're in the past or the future. We're not in the present. So that is why this, this need for, for awareness. And this is by being in this space. Your intuition is going to continue to amplify, to sensitize, because you are continuously healing. You're continuously letting go of this grip you have on your counterpart, which means you're letting go of the stories that you're telling. You're letting go of that energy. You're letting go of those beliefs. You're letting go of that version of yourself, that version of him. And that's the thing is you, both of you are different. And the more you hold on, the more you fight an actual separation. What you resist persists. And it's time to be honing this. Which means what this twin flame journey really is, is about is you coming back into your power so the two of you can come into power together with each other and amplify each your own individual power. The Divine Feminine leads this and if you are not really fully stepping into your power then he's not. He's going to continue to try to fit in the box of society, fit in the box that is his ego, forever silencing the voice of his soul. And this is why it is important to be practicing. what it is to embrace the vision 
to allow yourself to dream the big dream, the adventure, the things that you've always wanted. And no matter how crazy it sounds to your mind, no matter what finite little things that it's going to try to throw at you and say, oh my God, what if that happens? But what if that goes wrong? But what if that happens? What if none of that happens and you miss out on the greatest experience of your life? Something that you've always wanted. Is it worth even just the possibility that everything can go perfectly divine, smooth, smooth and easy the whole damn time on this adventure that's calling your soul? Get out of your own way. I just, I feel like this deck right now, it just has perhaps, I'm checking one more thing to say. I see, okay, to, uh, see, abundance, abundance abounds, abundance awaits. That's this adventure. The more you expand is the more you expand. So if you are feeling as though you are in lack and you're not sure where or when or how, this is going to come. It's the exact same thing with your manifestation. You've got to let it go. This is the exact same thing of, of union with your counterpart. You've got to let it go. You've got to embody union. You've got to embody abundance. You've got to embody the vision that you desire, what it feels like. This is why having the vision is so important and allowing yourself to feel that. And like I said, being aware of the anger that may arise within the following days of getting clear on this vision the things that again are telling you that you can't have it it'll never work it's a stupid idea all of those things and ask yourself why are you so sad why do you feel that you don't deserve it you know really start to break down that walls the, the break down the walls so you are breaking through and aligning and aligning with your vision. And I just got 2222 on my ticker too. Oh my goodness, look, 2222, two, two, two. yes. So 2222, 927, and 2222. Oh my goodness. As we are in this whole Pegasus thing, um, first and foremost though, I feel, I am feeling called to Where, where, um, I'm feeling called to go ahead and check this 927 and um, 2222 angel numbers for us. 927 is the both the order it appeared and the numeric order. Important decisions. Well, yeah, of course. What is your vision, goddess? That's a, that's a pretty important decision, if you ask me. Um, passion and love. What is your passion? What do you love? Harmony. What, what feels so aligned? You have all you need to make the right choice for you. Cultivate, cultivate balance in relationships, which yeah, so don't, don't chase. Just it's, it's time to be done. Be you true as only you can be you. So again, it is about being really true to you, allowing yourself to be expressive of who and what you truly are. You're always on your path in always the right place, slow, steady, and all in divine timing. Well, that right there, the very last one is indeed the most um, aligned message is that, you know, slow, steady, and all in divine timing, that patience, having that patience with where you are, where he is, where the world is. And again, practicing more in being just present, honoring your emotions, revealing why they're there, what they're telling you. Because just as the body will express itself in a physical way, when you're just not getting the message, 
right? So it's time to start getting the message. Thus, this, you know, honing, you know, t tuning into, tapping into, honing your intuition. Uh, because then it becomes a physical expression of an illness of some kind, an imbalance in the body because there's an imbalance in your energies. This is why it is so important to be coming back to you. And right now, with patience being such a an important facet of the journey where we are currently because it feels as though things are moving very very slow things are just more uncertain than ever even in the the twin flame connection he feels more he, he may even feel as though he's farther away than ever physically but the key is there is it supposed to be showing you how much stronger you are feeling him energetically so that's the reason again for coming within yourself coming within yourself so yeah all divine timing so then 22 22 we have feel calm definitely feeling that there's again that patience um and the opposite of angry worked up right is to feel calm you are doing exactly what you're supposed to for your expansion so trust trust that you are where you're supposed to be on your journey uh, mantra I am where I am and I am exactly where I am supposed to be so if there's anger coming up that's talking about how it's taking too long you don't have enough time it'll take forever uh, you're old whatever anything related to that that really definitely has a tinge of anger but again that underlying grief that is what anger is for the for the majority it is unexpressed grief that finally had nowhere else to go you're on the correct path changing perception and way of thinking union and connection again because that union is within this is so definitely spot on you know twin flame union happens within yourself energetically first and then it is that physical union with the other uh, tune into synchronicity no such thing as coincidence spiritual awakening for twin flames so that is what we have i am very curious to know as i am sure uh divine feminines along with me are perhaps watching this even though yes we are doing the work, aren't we, goddesses? We are focusing on ourselves. We are getting excited about what we're creating, what we are contributing to this world. Uh, the vision that we desire to be experiencing that, that encompasses all of that. Uh, what kind of life excites you about your life? And then in turn, what things now currently have you manifested because everything around you you manifested right you called in to your experience everything in your experience right now in one way shape or form energetically you called it in okay so what things can you then be grateful for and sh express and embody appreciation for that are is going to put you in the vibration to align you with what you desire and i didn't even get the chance to say that obviously my intention i set before even doing this reading this uh, message is that these cards are the divine masculine and that's exactly what i was on my way of asking is if by chance the divine masculine has anything to ask us as we ourselves while yes we are focusing on ourselves we we love our counterpart we'll always think about him he'll always be a part of us because he is but that doesn't mean that we trap ourselves from living our lives okay <coughs> Ooh say definitely some in the in the connection of still that um well in fact wow the first card is protection he is protecting you 
He is protecting you by not saying the things that he wants to say. And in turn, allowing yourself to see that you are choosing to protect the connection too by not speaking the things that you want to because they really don't serve the expansion. They hold on to the past. They keep you stuck in the way it was and it's time to expand. So he is definitely, like I said, um, being put in a possession, in a, in a position of, of protection right now, uh, just as you are too, goddess, just as you are too. It is about doing that individual deeper inner work that needs to be cleared out so it does not continue to cycle through the connection and keeping the counterparts, keeping the the dm and the df in in cycles and patterns that must be broken must be broken for harmonious physical union to occur and see expansion exactly what what did i just say what did, that i'm not even not even going to uh, revisit that except for again you both agreed to this right you both accepted this mission you accepted this challenge for your soul you accepted this opportunity for growth here and the only part of you now that is not wanting to accept it is just your ego and i say just because the ego is only a facet of this 3d physical realm you are not your ego Your ego exists with you in this realm. But you, you are an infinite soul being that's having this temporary experience. Again, you accepted this opportunity to come here and learn, to learn what it was to feel freedom in this world. And this is exactly what my counterpart has said from the beginning, I just wanna be free. I just want to be free, free from the perceived obligations of his society, of his culture, of what his life is supposed to look like, that it's not really his choice, it's theirs. Free to be exactly whoever he wants to be, free to feel fully expressed, the divine feminine as well. And this is why right now both parties are being kept apart is for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine to explore these this newfound empowered masculine and feminine energies okay it's like riding a bike you're in the the, the tricycle phase you know you, you've got to explore this these sensations this experience for yourselves first because once you come together it is permanent it is permanent but it's a permanence that's been fully anchored in freedom expansion So that's exactly what the, the divine masculine wants us to be aware of, right? Be aware of right here is what the, the, the both of us are going through. We're growing through it. And that's why it feels intense. But I promise you it does get more easeful and I say that in the way that I mean for you to understand that it gets less and less painful because why the wound is healing you see what's happened is these are 
wounds that have been revealed that were infected that had to be cleaned out so they could be healed and that's what our twin flame has done is they've come into our lives and revealed these wounds that have been infected for so long and that's why it feels like it hurts so fucking bad and why it feels as though sometimes it's just never going to end but it will that pain will that wound will heal you are the catalyst goddess you are to your healing twin flames self-love empowerment journey and there are countless tools and resources available to you i am available to you you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me to explore more of where you are on your journey the challenges that you are being faced with and maybe not quite sure how to navigate them i'm i'm here for you i'm definitely here for you this is what I love. This is my passion. This is my mission. You can book a session at IamEmpowered.as.me. I'll put that link down below in the description. Also, come join the free Goddess Tribe where it's goddesses supporting goddesses. You'll come to find that you are not alone on this journey. Okay? And that said, there are more resources and courses and coaching available on my website at empowermentexperiences.com, including custom affirmation stations to really empower you into shifting into this next version of yourself. But to have the perfect affirmation station with your chosen or created affirmations put to music your choice from that which is offered <laughs> that said dear goddess remember our angel numbers for the day are 927 and 2222 and i look forward to seeing you for twin flame tuesday and of course the uh, divine masculine message come uh, masculine monday dear sweet goddess Go create amazing. You, you have the power. You have the power to, to not just survive this journey, but to thrive in it. I'm confident. I know it. And if you need someone to know it for you until you know it for yourself, I'm here for you. Just book a call and... I'll help you through it all. That said, Goddess, remember the power, it is in your hands. Because it has always been inside you. Namaste.